So how do you make money being an influencer? And if you get the right influencer marketing platform, it's so super easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam, and you're gonna find everything influencer marketing related on this channel, our guides, our tips, our tricks, and just some general all around funny videos. Remember, support the channel by subscribing, liking all the videos, and if you wanna stay up to date, hit the bell icon and it will notify you of when we push new videos. 10 years ago, social media was just a way to kind of share your photos, what you're doing, activities with your buddies. Now, mega celebrities and other people are monetizing their posts for brands. This is literally the future of advertising and it's already here. Now, the fact that brands are using this as their go-to strategy along with user-generated content, it's opening the doors to millions of creators around the globe, regardless of the size of your following, and giving you the opportunity to earn ridiculous money and even turn this into a full-time career. Influencer marketing platforms are popping up everywhere, even more so over the past couple of years, now that we are using this as our predominant form of marketing. So the real question is, can I make money from influencing? And the answer is a big fat yes. However, you need to be clever about this. You need to play to your strengths and tactically use what you have to grow your audience and become a better proposition for brands to use you to advertise their product. I mean, there's more than one way to skin a cat and some of those cats, they make a lot more money than others. So the most popular way to make money being an influencer is sponsored posts. This is where brands will sponsor you, i.e. pay you to post on your social media channels, whether this is a static image, a video, a reel, stories, whatever it may be, this is predominantly the easiest way to make money on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, wherever else. It's easy to measure from the brand and it's pretty easy to do from the content creators. The biggest challenge here is that brands typically will base what they pay you based on the eyeballs that you're going to receive. So technically you need to grow an audience and grow a following. That way you can charge more because you're receiving more of a reach, more of impressions on that brand's product. However, and this is quite important to note, over the last 18 months, we've seen a massive change in the trend of how brands are advertising through social media. They're actually using user-generated content created by, say, smaller creators with very low followings, but they create unbelievable quality content. I'm talking like production standard quality content. And actually these guys are starting to earn the big bucks because ultimately brands can take that content and then they can pay to put it in front of an audience that's specifically targeted towards their niche and is going to sell more product. The next way is to become a brand ambassador. Now we see this quite a lot and this can often sometimes be called a retainer. This is where brands will try and lock in influencers for a prolonged period of time. This is the long game. It's a better relationship, but to be honest with you, it's guaranteed work for the influencer for a set amount of time period. However, it does often restrict what other brands you can work with. For example, a hair brand. If you're a female uh, influencer and you sign with a hair brand, it might be that they pay you X amount a month, you wear their hair, you get your, their hair fitted, but you also do a couple of posts a month, you do stories, you do maybe a reel a month, and you constantly talk about how much you love your hair from XYZ brand. Now, as part of this contract, you will not be able to promote another hair brand, so it might restrict your earnings um, a little bit, but in the long run, this should benefit you from having the retainer with one specific brand. I mean, look at Molly Mae, for example. She is the absolute queen of becoming a brand ambassador. When she came out of Love Island, she only focused on PLT, Beauty Works, and I think one other brand and just completely protected her own personal brand than working with loads of different companies. The good thing about brand ambassadors from a brand perspective is that you can then choose creators that are going to be more influential in their space. Let's take fitness, for example. 
If I was my protein, let's just use it as an example, and I chose specifically targeted fitness influencers who bought into the brand, who used all of our products, who trained in all of our gear, people buy into these influencers and they also follow their regimes. So having these on a long-term relationship as opposed to just one-off posts is going to make you more money. And also as an influencer, you're gonna earn more money as well because they're gonna basically keep you on board as long as the brand's selling more product through you, there's no reason for them to cancel this ambassador program. The next is affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is quite an interesting one. Not really adopted in the UK and, and I'm not really seeing it adopted in most parts of Western Europe either. However, this is massive in America. Now, affiliate marketing works where you would, you would promote a product for free effectively and then what you would do is you would get a kickback on sales that you've generated. Now, this is pretty easy to track. There's lots of funky tech that you can get where it will track um, link clicks from Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, wherever it is, and the cookies will follow and see what's turning into a generated sale. Now, now there's two kind of ways we see affiliate marketing. You can either basically get paid per click, so that's, you know, pay per link click, which is often quite a small value. Obviously, you look to have higher amount of link clicks. Or if you're really smart, you can come to an agreement with the company that you get a cut on sales. Now, the downside to this is that a cut on sales might not necessarily generate any revenue for you, but if you're confident in your ability to sell a product, i.e. you're not just advertising a product for the sake of it, say for example, you're an affiliate marketer for say a makeup brand, and this was a brand that you personally used all the time and you did makeup tutorials for. If you were a really big YouTuber that constantly did different makeup tutorials, and then you got a cut on the products that you were using in your videos, that's a really good way to increase your revenue and also earn a very good amount over a long period of time. You often see as well that people start creating their own websites to advertise the product, almost like a, a drop shipping service. But actually what ends up happening is they get lots of traffic through their social media to their website. When they see the products, the, the consumer then actually goes through to the website where they can purchase the product, the cookies follow and the influencer gets paid. Recently on Instagram, I've seen this so much. I think it's called R Style, where basically influencers will tag their outfit that they wore on a night out with links on their stories to purchase the outfit, or they'll go on a high-end fashion retailer, screenshot cloak, screenshot items that they love and just basically link them on their social media in the off chance that one of their followers buys it, and then they just get a kickback from it. So good, so effective, but just not really being adopted in the UK. And personally, I think that's maybe because we're so used to having this pay per post model and it's quite difficult to say, well, if I've been paid a fixed amount, I want the security of a fixed amount rather than the variable of I could earn X amount. Website advertising. Now this is a bit unknown and to be honest with you, I hadn't heard of this before I started researching. This is quite similar to affiliate marketing apart from instead of getting money from actually selling products, you redirect your followers to a website where you can get traffic and then you can do things such as like paid advertisements through that website. Now this is quite tricky to make it work and you need some pretty impressive followers and stats to actually get this off the ground. So not really a recommended way as a novice influencer to get your revenue up. However, could be a different string to the bow if you're already a well-established influencer. And the next one is, I think it's quite a personal favorite of mine, and this is creating your own product lines. So let's say you've been through this influencer journey for three years now, you've built an audience, your audience buys into you. Let's just say you're a female influencer and you are very fashion driven. What do you do? You create your own product line and you use your own personal brand to promote that. Again, let's just use the, the queen of influencing, Molly May. She launched her own fake tan line, filter. I mean, on paper, it looks like it's doing fantastic. And this is how, if you protect your personal brand, you have the ability to earn some serious money by releasing your own product. This is something at SoSquared we're actually looking to partner with influencers to do. Probably the back end of this year, we will help influencers launch their own products and offer this service. Basically, what we'll do is we will invest in their brand or their own personal brand, help them bring a product to market through supply chains, help them with marketing, hiring, admin, finance, all the rest of it. So the influencer can focus on basically putting their name to the product and we will concentrate on all the commercial side. Now for the big question. 
how much money can you actually earn from being an influencer? And this varies, but we're gonna dive into it a little bit. So typically this will depend on your demographic, your kind of followers and your impressions, or should we say historically it has. But as previously mentioned, smaller creators who create unbelievable content are now entering the race to become full-time content creators because their content just bangs so much. So influencers with 10,000 to 50,000 influencers, which are still in that micro influencer category, can actually earn anywhere in between sort of 30 to 80,000 pounds a year. Now, 80,000 pounds right at the top end, more likely to be around 30,000 pounds if you take it seriously, that is. Petalcard.com puts an average of around 160 to 200 pounds a post for people with followers between 50 to 80,000. Now, from our experience working in the influencer world, this is kind of there. We would typically kind of see, shall we say, 50 to 100,000 demand somewhere between 150 to 200 pounds a post. See, that's not a bad gig for being sent products, especially if you love the products, being sent the products, modeling them, creating great content, posting it to your audience and getting paid. Take this seriously and you will earn some serious cash. So how do you really excel this and make your influencer marketing career pop? Well, you kind of need to know what brands want. If you can feed into what brands are looking for in terms of content, then this is gonna be ideal for you. So what's the easiest way to do that? And to be honest with you, it's to get yourself on a great influencer marketing platform that will help you identify collaborations, manage the process, and communicate directly with brands to build that relationship. So what is the best influencer marketing platform? And I'm gonna say so squared, you know that. But for a micro-influencer, we specialize in this field. So if you've got under 300,000 followers and you're looking to grow your career, we are providing you with the tools at zero cost. The core mission at So Squared is to connect brands with creators and create that transparency within the influencer marketing where you can earn your maximum potential and brands can really get the outcome they desire. If you want to hear some more about our platform and as an influencer, how we can help you grow and scale your career, or if you're a brand watching this video and you'd love to know how we can help you market your products in a more cost-effective way, hit us an email at info at so Always happy to chat. Catch you later, guys. Bye for now.